So today I'm going to take you through a typical blast class that you will be able to do from the comfort of your own home. Now usually here at the Hive, during a blast class, we'll be using the cardio kit, the dumbbells, we'll be using the prowlers, the sled, battle ropes, a bit of everything. But for you guys today, all we're going to need is a rucksack, like so. It doesn't even need to be a rucksack, it could be two bottles of water, it could be two bags, two Sainsbury's bags, it can be anything. Uh, and a table or a chair. That is all you're gonna need for this workout. Everything else is gonna be body weight. Now for a blast class, it's 45 seconds of work, it's 15 seconds of rest. Four different supersets. Now a superset is two exercises back to back. So we'll do two exercises, you'll alternate between the two, each one twice, have a minute rest, and then do another superset. So four supersets in total. Right, now get yourselves warmed up. Have a little stretch, have a little run around, a little jog, loosen off and then we'll get this show on the road. Right guys, get yourselves ready. We've got 10 seconds on the clock. The two exercises that we're gonna alternate with are a sprint on the spot and then a reverse lunge, okay? Now get yourselves ready. Two, one, and sprint. So use the arms, get the knees up in front of you. So big effort on this one guys, big effort. Keep pumping those arms. Keep getting those knees up in front of you. Nice and quick, as quick as you can. Twenty seconds. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Nearly there, guys. Nearly there. Five seconds. And rest up, good stuff. 15 seconds rest, and we're gonna work into a reverse lunge, okay? Nice and wide on the lunge. The wider you go, the more glute, hamstring, adductors get worked, okay? So nice and wide. Get ready? Let's go, nice and wide. So when I lunge down, I can feel a stretch in my hamstrings, in my adductors. Good, keep it going. Nice and wide, good depth. Try and keep it moving. Ten seconds left. Keep going guys, keep going. Good, 15 seconds, back onto a sprint. Okay, 10 seconds rest. Keep yourself moving as well. That burning feeling is lactic acid building up in your legs. Movement will pump the lactic out of the legs. You ready? All right, let's go. Remember, we've got your own pace, guys. If you can sprint quicker than me, fantastic. You've got your own pace. But do push yourself. Drive those arms as well. Nearly there guys, nearly there. Keep going. Keep going. And time, good stuff. Back into a reverse lunge. So we've got 15 seconds rest. Whew. Okay, get ready. Three seconds, two, one. Let's go. Reverse lunge, stretch. Remember, feel the stretching now in the adductors, hamstrings, and the glutes. Just get in a rhythm as well. So don't stop and start. Just go at a pace that you know you'll be able to maintain for 45 seconds. That's the hard part about hit training, is pace judgment. Some people go, go off too soon, do too much too early, and you won't be able to maintain it for the full 45 seconds. Good stuff, right. Minute rest now, guys. 
but keep moving, keep walking around. That's those two exercises done. So for the next two exercises, we're going to be working some arms. So this is where you're going to need your bag, your rucksack, or your two Sainsbury's bags, your two bottles of water. So we're going to work a bicep curl. So for me, rucksack, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to be curling up like so. So just working the biceps. I'm keeping my elbows tucked in. So there's no movement of my upper arms. I'm just working the biceps. Again, you can use Sainsbury's bags. It doesn't matter. A kid, a brick, anything. Just a bit of resistance. The second exercise is going to be a tricep dip. So on your chair or your sofa, your legs out is going to make it harder. Legs in is going to make it easier. But keep your back close to the bench, okay? And push. If you keep your back close to the bench, your triceps are working. If you come away, you're going to start to feel it in your chest and your shoulders. Right, get yourselves ready, we've got 10 seconds. So get your bag ready, your Sainsbury's bags, your bottles of water, anything that gives you a little bit of resistance. Okay, three, two, one, and there's no movement in my body. All this movement is my lower arms, okay? Squeeze the biceps. Sometimes if the weight isn't heavy enough, make the bicep work harder by keeping the bicep tense, all the movement, even on the way down, keep the bicep tense. Even then a light weight can be made much harder, okay? Slow down the movement as well. Keep the bicep working for longer. Time under tension, that's what counts. So nice, slow, controlled movement. Even though this bag isn't particularly heavy for me, I can still feel it really working the biceps. Good, keep working. Nearly there. And time. Good, 15 seconds. And then we're working onto a tricep dip. Remember, keep your back close to the bench. A chair, sofa, the bottom step of your stairs at home. That's all you need. Remember, legs in is going to make it easier. Legs out is going to make it harder. Just bend at the elbows and push. Nice control movement down, push. Okay, nice control movement down. Again, time under tension. We're trying to make that tricep work for longer. If we rush it like this, the tricep isn't working for as long as it could be if we take our time. Like so. See, muscles don't know reps. Muscles know the amount of time that's been worked. So even a relatively easy exercise can be made much, much harder by just slowing it down. Good, we've got time for one more. And push. And lovely. Okay, back on your feet. So we're super setting, so we're back onto bicep curls now. Get your bags again. Five seconds. And remember, tuck those elbows in so the upper arm doesn't move. No movement at all. Let's go. Curl. Keep the bicep tensed on the way down as well. Curl. Keep that bicep tensed. You see a lot of people that will start swinging like this. That's using momentum. By keeping the elbows tucked in, there's no movement in my upper arm. So it's forcing, it's isolating the bicep. It's forcing the bicep to do all the work. So you don't need really heavy weights. You just need good quality movements. Keep going. Keep going. Three seconds. See, that's quite light for me, but it burns like hell. So, it's not about the weight, it's the movement. Okay, same again for triceps. Nice and slow. Five seconds, get ready. Let's go. So nice and controlled, way right down. Make a good bend in the elbows. Stretch the tricep, push. Throw it down, stretch the tri, push. Remember, if you want to make it harder, put your legs out. Okay? Out. And so, nice and controlled, and push. See, straight away, triceps are burning. This is where you've got to dig in now. It's going to hurt, but you've just got to push through. 10 seconds. Good. 
Good, keep going. And good stuff, okay. That's, those, that's that superset done. Right guys, the next superset that we're gonna do is a sprint punch. So we're gonna run and we're gonna throw punches at the same time, okay? Big calorie burn. The second exercise, again, with your rucksack or your Sainsbury's bags or your bottles of pop, kids, dogs, whatever you want, hold the bag in front of you. You're gonna drop into a front squat and press above your head. Drop into a front squat, press above your head, okay? Heels on the floor, back straight on that one, okay? So we're working legs, we're working shoulders as well. Get yourselves ready, you've got 15 seconds. Right guys, so sprint punch first, get yourselves ready. Five seconds. All right, let's go. Big calorie burn on this one. But again, go at your own pace. Go at a pace that you know you can maintain for 45 seconds. If with 10 seconds left, you feel like you can pick it up, then do that. So any seconds to go. Okay, 10 seconds. Let's pick it up a little bit. Lovely, okay. Get your bags, get your kids, your dogs, whatever it is you gotta hold. Hold it in front of you. So remember, into a front squat, and then press above your head. So we're working legs, working shoulders. Keep your back straight, heels on the floor. Squat, press, squat, press. Twenty seconds left. There it is, guys. Keep moving. Woo! That was a burner. So ten seconds, and back onto the sprint and the punch. Okay, two, one, let's go. Remember, go at your own pace on this one. If you can go quicker, if you can get the knees higher, it's entirely up to you. But just make sure you're really working hard. Ten seconds, let's go. Come on, let's pick it up now. Good, okay. Back onto the front squat and the press. Woo! Five seconds, guys. Get yourselves ready. In position. Front squat. Press. Front squat. Press. Twelve seconds left, guys. Keep it moving. And time, good. Okay, so the last two exercises we're gonna do, the last superset we're gonna do, is a sit-up movement on the floor, I'll show you that in a second. But the other exercise is gonna be a lateral hop. So we're gonna jump from side to side, here. Okay, nice and wide, use the legs, okay? 
We have a minute rest though, okay? So just keep moving, guys. Keep moving, get the lactic acid out of your legs. So this is the last superset coming up. We're gonna start with sit-ups. 15 seconds, get yourselves ready. Okay, so with a sit-up, hands on thighs, and we're keeping those hands on your legs all the time. We're taking away any momentum used by the arms, okay? So it's all in the abs. So hold there. Let's go. A nice, controlled, slow movement. They don't need to be quick. We're just using the abs for as long as possible. It's gonna burn at some point, but you gotta just dig in. Ten seconds now. Keep moving. Don't give in, guys. Don't give in. Good. On your feet. So, 15 seconds, and we're going into those lateral hops. Okay, nice and wide on those steps. Okay. Get ready. Two. One. Let's go. Nice and wide on these hops. Good, we've got 12 seconds left, guys. Keep moving. Nearly there. Lovely. On the floor again, back into sit-ups. Same rules apply. No momentum used by the arms. Keep them on your legs at all time. This one's going to burn. Push through. Let's go. Go, it's burning now. We've got to give it. We've got to push through. Don't let it beat you. 15 seconds, that's what we've got left. There, there, that's five, keep moving. Time, good stuff. On your feet, last exercise, guys. Last exercise of this superset. Last exercise of this workout, in fact. Give me some, okay? Let's put the work in. All right, three, two, one. Let's go, nice and wide. Use that outer leg to really push off, okay? Need it, guys. Ten seconds now. Hand ding ding. Good stuff. Woo! Tired. That's the end of the workout. That's one lap of what we would normally do in a blast class. Here at the Hive, as I said earlier, we would obviously be using lots of equipment, mixing it up, all kinds of stuff you'd be doing. So hopefully guys, we'll get you down to the hive to sample a real blast class soon.